Today, we're gonna to create a slide morph transition in Canva. So let's go over to Canva and create one. So the first thing we're gonna need is a good old fashioned square and we need some good colors. I left this one here for a reason because I wanna get my pretty cute colors. Oh, no, I don't wanna know no background. Let's not do that. Let's grab our square, pick our color out. So what we wanna do with our square now, we would just wanna fill the whole page with it you can go a little bit over the page if you want to. It'll give you a little wiggle room when you're doing the transition so you don't, you have a little extra, extra, extra. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go into my projects. I'm going to go into my folder, my star folder, and I'm going to grab this right here, which is a black gradient rectangle. I'm going to grab one of these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that big too, just a little bit bigger. And then what I'm going to do is take the position and I'm going to slide it behind. And then depending on your preference of how dark you want your shadow, you can just pull it out to as dark as you want your shadow. So I'm going to just leave it with a nice little faint shadow right there. And then when I, I got it right where I want it or right where you want it, I am going to group them together or you're going to group them together. So what I want to do now, I'm going to go into position so I can grab that real quick. I'm going to hit the duplicate button. And all you're going to do to get your colors is you're going to hit this right here. Hit that color and pick your next color. Um, let's see. You go in position, grab that duplicate. Go in here, grab your next color. Position. Eh. Oh, it's going to give me that. Sometimes it'll give you the, the duplicate button. Sometimes it won't. So that's why I go in a position and then just grab your colors. And then all you're going to do is set them up. You're going to slide them whatever way you want to. I would keep your positions tabs up so you can grab them. If you can't like grab them and see like I tried to grab that one and I didn't grab that one. So if you didn't, uh, blah, blah, blah. sorry, y'all. <laughs> tongue tied, tongue tied. All right. And then we're going to just, you're just going to position them even even them up whatever way you want to do it. So we're going to go over to this one because I already have this set up. Um, if you want to see, I use the old editor. So I'm going to grab one of these real quick to show you why I use the old editor. So I wanted these to have a little 3D to them. So in the old editor, which if you don't, if you're in the new editor, you need to go to the old editor. There would be a blue box right here that you can go into the old editor with. Um, I like the curved shadow for these. So I see it makes it kind of pop off the page. So that's why I use the old editor. So I can use that curve. That's not in the new editor. So now we're going to delete this page because that part's done. And I got whatever you're going to, or you got whatever you want in the bottom right here. We're going to start with our transition. So you're going to duplicate the page. I'm going to get my positions up. I'm going to grab my blue and I'm going to slide it over. I'm going to take my sunflower. I'm going to reduce it down and stick it right there. I am going to grab my pink, do the same, grab my flower. I don't know what half these flowers are called. So, um, I would label them as they were what they are, but that would do research from a non See how you, I like having a little bit of buffer there. Make sure that your little shadow is not showing or whatever. And then I'm going to take that. I'm going to reduce that over here. Stick that there. And then I'm going to take this one, make it big. And if you want to stick it in the center, stick it high, stick it low, whatever you're thinking for your text, we're going to do the text last. And there's, there's a reason for that because I want to know the exact placement for my text when I move these. So if I put my text on now and I try to move these, my if I line my text up, it might not line up with my opening. So I want to do that secondary. Personal preference, if y'all have a better way to do it, please leave it in the comments for people to read and see if there is a better way to do that because we work together here. So what I want to do now is I want to reduce this down. I want to put it down. I want to go and grab my blue one. Not that blue one, this one. And I want to slide it over like so. And how big do I want that over there? And make that 
that stripe be about that size and then you're going to do and you're going to take this one and you're going to make it big place it wherever you want to and that's all we're going to do we're going to duplicate shrink put it down that's kind of kind of small there and then we're going to grab the pink one we're going to slide it slide baby and then we're going to go over and we're going to make this one big like so we're going to duplicate duplicate and then we're going to reduce put it into a position and then we're going to slide the last one and you can bring it back over like so and then what we do you got them all where you want to now we're going to go in between here and we're going to put our transition in when it's just match and move i'm going to turn the duration all the way up that's just what i do and then i'm going to go get here and go to my timing i'm going to put 1.8 in here so i'm going to put 1.8 enter and as you see i put 1.8 it put 2.2 and if you want like two you put like 1.8, 1.6, and sometimes it'll give you two. I don't know. What I put in there, 1.3. Let's see what we get. One? No, I don't want that. Let's go 1.8. Hey, I want 1.8. Let's go. 1.8. Here's 1.8. Turn that off. Turn it back on. Oh, we got 1.8. But you're going to do your time in whatever way you want to. And make sure your matching move is between all pages all pages and that's reduced my time so now i want to turn my time back up hit that see it said 1.6 now we're 1.8 i gotta love came over that but then we're gonna try our transition and then we got our transition going from one to the other now if i want to do text what i'm going to do is I'm going to grab these and I'm just going to use these just for ease. Let's do hugs and kisses. Let's make it white. And hold on. Let's not do it on this page. Let's do it on this page. So I want to do my text on this page first where it's big. So I'm going to go and I'm going to grab that. Come on now. And I'll make it white. Hey. All right, just. Make it white. There we go. Burr, burr, burr. All right. So now what I want to do, because I want to pull this off the page, is I'm going to go in this one, and I'm going to add some space at the end. Because I need some blank space, so when I pull this off and make it not show, over here, I need that because if you pull it all the way off, it'll disappear. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to control C this. I'm going to control V it here. And then I'm going to play, put it back down over here. And if you want to move this afterwards, cause you know where you're. So if we look at that, then it's going to go, it's going to move in your hug and kiss is going to go. And then I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab Valentine's day one. Make it white. Give me some space. Uh-uh, I don't want to move you. I want my valentine. Take my valentine. Put it there. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to control C. I'm going to come back to the one in front. I'm going to control V. And I'm going to move it straight up. That way it's lined up from where my picture is. If you can understand what I'm saying. You want to do this one first because it, you'll know where your placement is. So like if I want to do this one and I'm going to do um, XOXO. Um, I want that one. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go here. I'm going to come in on the from the bottom on this one. So I am, I'm just sitting here pointing at the screen like y'all can see my fingers. I'm so goofy. So change all, I want them all white. There we go. So what I want to do is I want that here. And maybe I want to put that one up a little bit. And I'm going to do XOXO. 
So I am going to control C this one and then go over here, control V this one. Like I said, y'all might have a better process for this, but I just feel like it's easier than trying to, hey, it, I think it's going to go here. And so when I go here, I can see that when I transition, that next one's going up. And then you can put, uh, let's see, Valentine's Day is coming. Happy Valentine's Day. And then we're going to make that white. And we'll do that at the bottom. Take this and hey, maybe give it a little extra. When it comes in, that'll go. Oops, there it goes. A little to the side. A little extra animation there. Oh, but I mean, do that enter, enter. Give it some, some function. Go up. Look, stop grabbing that. See, I mess up for y'all all the time. See, I'm human. I don't try to be like one of these robot tutorials. I'm sorry, it's just not my style. So I like it there. I can go Control C. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna Control V it, and I'm gonna slide it downward off the page, and that should be done. So if we watch the whole thing now, it should morph two, three, four. And with these, you can also give them little spins or whatever you want to do with them. Like I said, you can do as many as you want to. And it's just a fun little thing to do. Like if you wanted to go ahead and like when this one came up, if you wanted it to, to spin the other way, give it a little spin. So we'll watch that and you can go as it comes up, it's spinning. So that'll just give it a little more play to it and make it more, a little more animated. Just little little touches like that help out a little bit. So, and that's just as easy as this one really and truly is. It's it's really not a hard animation. It's just really simple and fun and cool. And I thank y'all for stopping by. I hope I taught you something. Maybe in the comments y'all will teach me something. But guess what? I hope to see you on the next tutorial. Bye, y'all.